Hello everyone and welcome back to English with Lucy. Today I have a pronunciation lesson for you. Please remember that I'm teaching RP, Received Pronunciation. I love it when students come to me with what seems to them to be a massive problem, but I have a really quick, easy solution. And that's what I have for you today. <laughs> I am going to teach you how to pronounce words like these, words that end in ed, because it's not so straightforward. We have wanted, danced, and saved. Wanted, danced, saved. So there are three different ways that we pronounce ed at the end of a word. And there are so many words that end with ed. We have the regular past simple verbs, we have the regular past perfect verbs, and we have many adjectives. So it's a bit frustrating that we have three different ways of pronouncing ed at the end of words, but I have a very simple trick that you can use to instantly know whether you end the word with id, whether you end it with or whether you end it with d, id, t, d. Before we get started, I want to tell you about something very exciting, something that I have been working on for years, <laughs> over two years. I'm only telling you students at the moment, students who are watching this video, because if you're watching this video, then it's likely that you're interested in improving your pronunciation. I would like to give my students that are interested in pronunciation the opportunity to find out about this project first. If you are interested in hearing the latest news about this pronunciation project, then please click on the link in the description box and register your details and we will be in touch. I very much look forward to telling you more. So let's get started with the lesson. I'm going to go through the method with lots of examples, and then I have got an activity, which is a story which will allow you to put into practice what you've learned. It's a bit of a challenge, so let's see how you do. And as always, I have created a free PDF document for you to use alongside and after this lesson. To download that, click on the link in the description box and it will be sent straight to your email address. Let's take a look at some root words. We have part, end, test, and need. All of these end in t or d. So you're going to notice with this method, it all depends on how the root word ends with which phoneme or sound does it end. In this case, t and d, which are nearly always represented by the letter t or the letter d. If a root word ends in t or d, the ed is pronounced as id. This means that it adds on an extra syllable. Part, parted, end, ended, test, tested, need, needed. That is the easy part, but what if a root word does not end with t or d? Well, does it end with a vowel, a voiced consonant, or an unvoiced consonant? If the root word ends with a vowel sound or with a voiced consonant sound, then the root word ends with voice meaning that when you produce that last phoneme, you can feel the vibrations in your throat. If it ends with an unvoiced consonant, you cannot feel the vibrations in your throat. Look at these four root words. We have dine, love, comply, remember. Dine, I can feel the vibration. Love, I can feel the vibration. Comply, that ends with a vowel sound. And remember, still with voice, remember that in received pronunciation, if a word ends with R, the R is not pronounced. 
In American English, you might say remember, er, but in received pronunciation, remember, uh. All of these root words end with voice. And the great thing is that we match voice with voice. If a word ends with voice, apart from d, then we match it with voice. So we add d onto the end. Loved, dined, complied, remembered. It would actually be more difficult to use t at the end because you're moving from voiced to unvoiced. Dined. Okay, so moving on to the root words that end with an unvoiced consonant. Take a look at these four. We have clap, kick, dance, and wash. P, k, s, sh. None of the endings have voice in them. Just like we matched voiced with voiced before, we match unvoiced with unvoiced. So in this case, ed is pronounced as t, clapped, kicked, danced, washed. Try ending these words with the d sound. In my opinion, it's a lot more difficult. So that's the theory behind it all. Looking at the last sound in the root word and then working out what the next sound should be. With root words that end in any sound other than t and d, there is no extra syllable. Love is not loved or loved, it's loved. Kicked isn't kicked or kicked, it's kicked. No extra syllable. But decide is decided, extra syllable. Test is tested, extra syllable. Some students prefer to learn words through studying them in lists and other students prefer to hear them spoken and to practice, to learn them in practice. We're going to go through both ways of learning them. First, let's look at the list version and then I will tell you a story using the words and you have to guess what the pronunciation is. Here are the sounds that come before id as ed. T, wanted, d, decided. And here we have the sounds that come before d as ed. We have b as in robbed. V as in lived, Z as in amazed, G as in rigged, N as in find, M as in climbed, N as in winged, J as in judged, V as in soothed, O as in called. And then I've included R just so you know for American English pronunciation that it would be followed by D. For RP, it isn't pronounced remembered, remembered. It's pronounced with a D because it ends with a schwa vowel sound which is voiced. But in American English, the R is pronounced at the end of words and it would sound something like remembered, remembered. Then we have the sounds that come before as ed, the unvoiced sounds. We have p as in helped, f as in sniffed or laughed, s as in missed or danced, k as in asked. I know some of my students struggle with that sound, the combination of s k t, asked, asked. We have Ch, as in matched, sh as in washed, th as in unearthed. There aren't many ed words with the th at the end of the root word. Now this rule also applies to adjectives but there are many more exceptions. So some adjectives ending in t or d we have insulted or beaded Adjectives ending in a voiced consonant or a vowel. We have soothed or moved and unvoiced consonants, distressed, astonished. 
there are lots of irregular adjectives that don't follow this rule and they favour id at the end. Naked, wicked, jagged, rugged. There is normally a g or k sound at the end of the root word, but there are exceptions to the exceptions. For example, beloved. Okay, now it is time for the activity. I am going to read a story to you. It's filled with words that end in ed, and each time I reach a word that ends in ed, I'm going to stop for a couple of seconds to give you the chance to say how you think it might be pronounced, what ending you think it might have. Count your scores and see how many you get right. Share your results in the comment section. As I've told you before, I loved living in Seville. I always envisioned myself living there long term. I had also lived in Madrid, but for some reason Seville really inspired me. It had nearly everything I wanted, so I promised to myself that I would move there in the future. I moved back to the UK to finish my studies. When I finished, I rented a room from my parents and started my teaching business. One day I was invited to a New Year's Eve party. I didn't want to go, but I pushed myself. I noticed a very handsome man there, but we mostly ignored each other the whole night. One day this man messaged me and asked me if I would participate in a charity dating show that he had organised. I responded with a yes and prepared for the event. In the end, that man won a date with me and I postponed my plans to move to Seville. Eventually, I simply cancelled them. I discovered that home is not a place, it's a person. I have visited Seville every year since and that's enough for me. True story. <laughs> That's it for today's lesson. Don't forget you can get all of today's lesson notes and the full activity and lots of extra examples by clicking on the link in the description box. You enter your email address and it will be sent straight to your inbox. If you are interested in hearing more about my pronunciation project, all very secret at the moment, then please do sign up with the other link in the description box. Don't forget to connect with me on all of my social media. I've got my Facebook, my Instagram, and my mailing list. And you can also check out my personal channel where I share vlogs of my life on an English farm. They are all fully subtitled so you can use them as listening practice and to pick up lots of vocabulary and natural expressions. I will see you soon for another lesson. Mwah.